In the closing years of the 18th century, the young United States of America, freshly separated from British rule, was navigating the tempestuous waters of nationhood. This was an era of revolution and change, a time when the nation's future was anything but certain. Amidst this backdrop, a single man rose to the challenge, steering the ship of state with a steady hand. His name? John Adams, the second president of the United States. Born on October 30, 1735 in the Massachusetts Bay Colony, John Adams was a son of New England. A Harvard graduate with a passion for law, he quickly made a name for himself in the legal world. But it was his fierce advocacy for independence from Britain that thrust him into the national spotlight. Adams was a leading voice in the Continental Congress, championing the cause of liberty with eloquence and conviction. He was instrumental in drafting the Declaration of Independence, forever etching his name into the annals of American history. Adams's political career didn't stop there. He served as the first vice president under George Washington, providing steady guidance during the nation's earliest years. Then, in 1797, he ascended to the presidency. His presidency was marked by challenges, both at home and abroad. The young nation was still finding its footing, and tensions with foreign powers threatened to destabilize the fragile peace. One of Adams's most notable achievements as president was the peaceful resolution of the quasi-war with France. His decision to seek diplomacy over conflict was a testament to his leadership and commitment to peace. This was not a popular decision at the time, but it was one that ultimately preserved the young nation's stability. Adams was also a driving force behind the establishment of the United States Navy. Recognizing the importance of a strong naval force for national security, he advocated for the creation of a robust fleet. This decision would prove to be far-sighted, setting the foundation for the United States to become a global maritime power in the years to come. John Adams' presidency ended in 1801, but his influence on the nation did not. His dedication to the principles of liberty and justice remained a guiding light for future generations of American leaders. So, what is John Adams' legacy? It's a legacy of leadership during a time of uncertainty. It's a legacy of diplomacy and peace in the face of conflict. It's a legacy of principled commitment to the ideals of a nation still finding its identity. Adams may not be as well remembered as some of his contemporaries, but his impact on the United States is undeniable. His decisions shaped the nation's early years and set a precedent for the presidents who would follow in his footsteps. John Adams, the second president of the United States, was more than just a political leader. He was a visionary, a patriot, and a fervent advocate for the American cause. His life and achievements serve as a testament to his dedication to his country. His legacy, though often overlooked, is deeply woven into the fabric of American history. So, as we reflect on the life of this remarkable man, let us remember John Adams, not just as a president, but as a pivotal figure in the story of America.